custom painted my frame a few years ago, I've been looking for my next custom painting project. And after some thought, I think I found it. I'm going to be painting my shoes and giving them some personalization. Now, if you want to know how these turned into, you're going to have to watch the video to find out how they turned out. Let's get into it. I have never painted a pair of shoes before, so I'm going to need a lot of help with this. But lucky enough, I know just the guy. So we need to go and meet him, and he's based in my hometown of Carmarthen. So let's take a little road trip to go meet him. Let's get to it. Hi, so I'm Hammy from HMI Customs and we started this little lockdown project idea and just turned into this roller coaster of madness, uh, traveling us from here to there and just painting for mates and now we're taking stuff uh, from Wales all over to every part of the world. So we've painted for MotoGP riders, we work directly with massive brands, we do Monster, Red Bull stuff. Uh, I think the only thing we haven't quite achieved yet is to be on the Pro Tour. Um, unfortunately, the only person available was Manon, but uh, we're, we're gonna get there with the Pro Tour rider. Hey Hammy, great to meet you. And you. Thanks for having me. No worries. Super excited about today. Here are my shoes. What is the first step with these shoes? So, when people come to us, we always ask them what their ideas are. Uh, a lot, most people say, I don't know. So it's normally good to start with, uh, what colors do you like? Is there anything that's close to you? So sometimes it's children, it could be names, it could be something that they relate to their child, like a rocket, whatever it may be. And then, Generally, most people will say, with those loose ideas, go for it. Or sometimes people will say, I'd like to see a design and then we'll just, we'll knock up a design on the computer, just a, a visual of the shoes with rough ideas and then go back as a forwards and we're away. Cool, well, I'll be honest, I have no idea what I want them to look like. I just know I want them to look cool. So I'm happy to trust you with the ideas. They're white, which is great, because we're basically on a, a, it's good, a canvas. Yeah. yeah, it's a canvas. And because they've already got fluoro yellow on, uh, orange on there, it would be quite cool to stick with the fluoro. Yeah. So maybe like a, a colour shift from one colour to another. Nice. Your name would be decent, because I'm yeah. sure you've got that on your bike and a few other yeah, things. Yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. And have you, you've bought me probably the hardest shoes to paint because they're knitted. Um, but luckily, <laughs> you're, you're well, painting them, not me. Yeah, 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 for okay, sure. Cool. It's just a totally different um, process to prepare them, because you can't put a flexible paint on this because it will go really thick, it will make the knit really hard, you won't be comfortable cycling in them. So it's just a, it's just another game, it's just a process, that's all this is. And is it possible to do them in a day? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do these. I say we, you'll be doing these. How about I do one, you do one? Is it a competition or you just I mean, if it's a competition, <laughs> you're definitely going to win. Okay. But I think it might be cool to see, you know, how the pro does it and how the... Yeah, for sure. Pro beginner does it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Let's get started. All right. So we've now come to your studio where the magic happens and you've got a few pairs of shoes there. Talk me through them. Yeah, so these are just good examples of different ways of doing this. So as an example, customer would say, they're my shoes, that's the idea I like, or these are the colors I like. Do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a good, good example because there's uh, multiple techniques on here. So there's, there's a fade with the airbrush and then the rest is free-handed. So this is just me and a brush uh, and a Posca pen and just going for it, music on. I don't have a very steady hand, so well, luckily, luckily there's not too much of that in my shoes Yeah, <laughs> we're going to do some airbrushing though. So okay, don't cool. be too scared. We are going to do some airbrushing, but yeah, it's just... Oh, the detail on that. Yeah, and like these are a size 10, so they're not massive, but they're not small, and you can get really like micro stuff on this. Yeah. If, you're, if you've not had too much coffee, then. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the very first step of my shoe then? So we need to prep them. Prep them. We need to take off like that factory shine and sheen, just so the paint can sit on it better. But with, with the knit, it's not sitting on top like it does leather, it's sitting inside. So you don't have to worry about it peeling or flaking because it'll just sink straight in. But that also causes a problem because we need to make sure we lay something on top so it doesn't bleed. Mm. So when we're putting like a logo or font or whatever on there, you can't get crisp lines if you don't prep it because it will just bleed outwards. Okay, cool. So that's what we need to do. So 
So the next very time consuming bit is actually taping. It's probably the bit that takes the longest. Uh, it's one of those, it's become a bit of an art and a knack. You can do it pretty quick now, but it takes a lot of time of, of learning again with a steady hand. So next we need to tape. So we've taped the shoe up, and this is a masterpiece in itself, but this is actually a really important step to get right, isn't it? Yeah, if you get this wrong, you're, especially on your leather shoes, you're making things really hard for you going forward to finish the shoe. Um, there'll be a lot of remedial, panicky stuff going on, which you want to we avoid. Don't want that. No. <laughs> it's just better to spend a little bit more time and getting this right, and it mm -hmm. makes the rest a lot easier. So, yeah. taped it. Yeah. What have we got next? So, the waxy area we're fine with now, but this fabric. As soon as we put paint on that, it's going to bleed outwards. Because it's knit? Because it's knit. And it's the same if someone was doing a converse, that mm -hmm. sort of material. wet, soft material, it will bleed. So we need to put a fake base on here to create like a canvas. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that by mixing normal paint, but with an additive. So this is just called a softener additive. And what it does is it still keeps the fabric soft because when you're cycling, you don't want it to go hard, which is what will happen if you just put raw paint on it or set really hard. So yeah, we just need to mix ourselves a little solution, give it two or three bases of that. I would personally, I, I, I'm good with two, but some people might want to go a little bit heavier. But because this is a cycling shoe and it's a performance cycling shoe, you have to keep that soft durability. Um, and then yeah, once that's dried, we are good to paint. Okay, so the paint has dried. The what base layer is dry. What is next? Okay, so colour. So as you're quite open for design, but you've explained that you like a bit of glitz and glam and <laughs> yes. all the nice sparkly stuff, I was thinking, well, we've got a natural white here and we're not going to paint the inside. Mm -hmm. So to make this look like it's a custom shoe from the factory, which is personally what I always aim to do, I was thinking we go like a dark colour switch, we call it... Um, iridescent, some mm -hmm. people call it oil slick. So a color that changes in the light. We go Love from that. a dark to a mid to a, like a white pearlescent. So as it hits this white, it just disappears. So we go dark to light pearlescent. Read my mind. Exactly what I was thinking. Awesome. Love it. So I think it's a very good idea for me to watch you show me how it's done properly before I even attempt anything. So what color are we starting off with? Okay, so we're going to start off with this mermaid Color switch fade funky color. Love it. Um, so it's like a ir iridescent color. Okay, so because we're doing the, the front face of this shoe, we want to angle it accordingly. Yeah. If I spray it like this, it's gonna go all over there, and I'm gonna have like wetter paint on one part than the other. So the hand is like your secret weapon. You should always move the shoe where you're working, not yeah. move around it. So I mean, that's just one coat. We're gonna do probably two or three of this color because that will get nice and deep. Yeah. Um, but just from that first coat, you can see the difference on the black, how it's really sparkling. Yeah. And then I will let you try while we've got the paint in the pot on the other one. So I've just done my test spray on there and now it's time to go in on the shoe and I'm very nervous. I just don't want to mess it up. Can't really... Can you go backwards on this if I mess it up? Uh, yeah, we can fix it. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. Nice. So the first section of colour is done and I'm actually impressed, one I didn't mess it up and how alike they look. <laughs> so but still two more colours to go and this is I guess the trickier part which is fading the colours together so there's still time to mess it up for me. So 
So for the final part of the, the three color fade, we've got like a pearlescent white and you won't see a huge amount of this, but what it will do is it will go from that original color fading into our peach and then we can make this section a little bit longer to give that really fluent three color fade. The first coat is done and they are looking gorgeous. You've never touched an air gun before, so that's <laughs> it's pretty impressive. I'd wear them as they are. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but we are going to go over and do exactly the same again, but we're going to bring the colours a little bit further to blend more. Yeah, so we've got this section here is, is quite nice as, as we are, but it's quite a large section. Yeah. So we're going to bring this, this Deep Mermaid a bit further forward and more natural, so we're trying to get that really fluent three colour shift. Yeah, I think this is like highlight of it, this colour. It is. It's the champion. So the shoes are all painted and I think what I love most about them, obviously the colour, but as well this back colour is very, very similar to the frame I custom painted as well. So they're gonna match perfectly, but now it's time for some finer details. And I was thinking maybe my name on there as well, but I'll have to think, but we're gonna go downstairs and see what the options are. So I've decided to go for my name, just Manon, and that is gonna go on this side of the shoe there, just a small little detail there. And Hammy's just printing that off now but there was about a thousand different fonts to choose from and I basically panicked and now I've gone for a really plain font. Uh, but I did change my mind like four or five times, but I've committed to it now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna print that off and then spray paint it on. So I've got my little stencil with my name on. Now I just have to pick the middle of my name out and then stick it on the shoe. This is really customized today. All those small bits. Happy. And then give it. It's all taped up, got my name on there, and I've just chosen a colour. I mean, it's taken me a while to choose a colour because they're all so nice, but I've gone for metallic bronze. So hopefully that will stand out quite nicely against the white, but pretty much exactly the same process. Spraying it on. Yeah. Done. Just less is more with this. It's better to do thinner layers because as soon as you go heavy on it and it sets on the stencil, when you peel it, you're going to lose what you've worked on. Okay. So just Thinner, more layers. Three layers should do it because it's a nice strong colour, but just yeah. nice and thin. Okay, let's get to it. It's now time for the grand reveal. It's going to go one way or the other. Crown de la creme. I'm scared. Good choice of colour. Yeah! Great That's choice sick. of colour. Need to peel the O off, but... Just... So we're so nearly done with these beautiful shoes, but there is one more step. That's the lacquer. And there's a choice of lacquers. <laughs> yeah, there's quite, quite a few to choose from. There's quite a few, yeah. But we've gone for... Gone for a factory finish. And why have you recommended this one? So basically factory finish is what we've taken off. Yeah. So it's not flat and matte, it's not really high gloss. It's gonna give us that nice sheen and with this type of paint, that's what we want because we want to see that shimmer and shine. We definitely do. So yeah. So how does it? We're gonna brush this on. Okay. We're gonna leave the airbrush for this because we want it to soak into the knit as well as give that nice coverage on the wax. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna get some nice clean brushes and we're gonna get this on. Cool, and then I'll be finished. Yeah. Oh,
here are the shoes in all their glory, all finished. I was not expecting to have such cool shoes at the start of the day, but thank you so much for all. helping me out with these. But is there any tips or anything that I need to do to look after them now? Just use them as normal, but if you do get them dirty, just baby wipes. It's the golden golden ticket. They're, um, there's no chemicals in them, so they don't eat into the lacquer. And then, yeah, just look after them. Yeah, definitely a shoe for a summer's day, not the UK miserable weather. But obviously I did this with you, a professional. Is something like this possible for you know someone watching at home? It's how I started. Started just in my garden with a brush and a pot of paint, and I've just developed it. So absolutely, don't be scared to get out there, try it. And then, yeah, just follow us to ask us any questions you've got. We're not like secretive about this sort of thing. We're happy to help anyone. There's a lot of cyclists with a lot of feet out there, so <laughs> let's paint them up. Definitely, and yeah, definitely check out um, Hammy's Instagram over at... HMY or HMY Customs, anything your search will come up. The, these are cool, but he's got some seriously cool shoes over there. But if you did enjoy this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think of these shoes down in the comment section below.